Xbox controller, phone. Wouldn't be nice to put the two of these together to get some games in. On Android Play today, we have two options for you. A gaming phone clip from eBay and the Power A mobile gaming phone clip licensed by Xbox. Let's get into this video and see which one's best for you. Round one. Okay, in round one, we're gonna talk about build quality and price. Let's start with the eBay gaming phone clip. All right, in terms of build quality, this thing is built like a tank. The plastics that they use is pretty good. The, it's pretty flexible. I'm not sure what kind of flat plastic this is, but it's the type that doesn't really break. It's not brittle. And the phone grip is pretty strong. You have no, no worries about your phone falling out of there. And in terms of build quality, this thing is pretty good. Now for the Moga. Build quality on this is kinda iffy. It seems okay, but with all of these um, moving parts and ratcheting mechanisms, it seems a little flimsier than the eBay gaming phone clip. So far, I haven't really had any issues in terms of thinking that this thing might break. Like, the plastic is similar, but um, as I said, it's just in these moving parts. I wonder if I should have a fall or something, if this thing will, will break. Although, if it falls, I'm more worried about my phone than this thing anyway, so it's not such a big deal. But on um, build quality, I'd give a slight edge to the eBay gaming phone clip. Just a slight edge. The phone mechanism is pretty much just as good. Maybe a little bit better because you have these little cutouts right here that you can use to maneuver your way around like the volume buttons or the power buttons. On this one, you pretty much have to sometimes get your phone to the side so it's off center a little bit just so that you don't affect the volume or the power buttons. On this one, you can pretty much get it centered because of these cutouts right here. So, on build quality, slight edge to this one. Now let's get into the price. On eBay, ACDs come in from China for as low as $4, including shipping, as long as you can wait a few extra weeks wait time. But if you get it out of the States or from Amazon, you can get it from like $7, $8. For the Moga Gaming phone clip, I see these on Amazon for as low as $15, on eBay for $15 to $20. So on price, the eBay Gaming phone clip turns out to be about two to four times cheaper than the Moga, depending on where you get it from and how long you're willing to wait for the shipping. So in terms of this round, I would give the edge to the eBay Gaming phone clip. The build quality is slightly better, just because it has less moving parts and the plastics that they use and for the moga as i said build quality is still excellent it's just it's more likely to break than this thing and on price this definitely much cheaper so round one goes to the ebay gaming phone clip round two in round two we have the features all right in terms of the phone mechanism both of them will accept about the same with phones that's about three and a quarter inches. And I think that should cover most large phones from the S20 all the way down. Right now I have a OnePlus 7 Pro. And it's, he's a thick boy. And it fits in both of these phones fine. With about a half inch gap there to go. So I don't see this not working in most phones. But in terms of the phone mechanism, this one is slightly better, as I said, because of the, the cutouts that we have here. They can use to maneuver them around like the, the power button or the volume button. For this one, you pretty much have to kind of carry it to one side a little bit just to clear the power buttons or the volume buttons. So it's a little off balance on this one. In terms of the angles that you get, with these things. For the eBay gaming controller, you pretty much have one angle, which is this one. I see it has another locking one here, but once the phone goes in and it passes there, it pretty much just falls. So on this one, you just have one angle. 
on the moga you have this articulating arm I guess you can pull in sections and it kind of ratchets to wherever you want it so if you want it all the way back here you can pull this one it can be like that so you have an idea there of like all the different angles that you can set your phone to so this is a clear win in terms of the articulating arm another couple of things is when you get the controller into this thing so let's start with the ebay one getting it into both of them is pretty easy you just kind of set the top here and then once you have it set you just flick on the bottom all right this one comes with a phone stand so you can actually have your phone in you're not using it right now you rest it down i don't you can't really use it on the stand itself it's just something to put it on when you're not using it which is fine it blocks your cutouts at the bottom you can still have access to your headphone jack and your usb port on the back you have access to that one thing i don't like about this one though is it blocks your connection button for the bluetooth so up here this controller to multiple devices and sometimes I have to repair them and I use this connect button but for whatever reason they decided to block this on this one which is kind of a pain sometimes because I have to literally take it off every time I have to do a connect if I forget to connect first so that's one thing to keep in mind if you get this one on this one it goes in just about the same you just catch the top first and you just flick on the bottom as you can see it blocks the bottom port as well it leaves the headphone jack open but the nice thing about this one is that your connect button you have access to that and even though it doesn't have a phone stand because of the design and the, the flatness of the bottom you can just rest it down without worrying about it tipping over depending on what angle you have the phone at though so if you have the phone back up bit farther like around here it would definitely tip over once you get the phone in like that so in the features category I definitely have to give this win to power a on this one they did much better with the design than the eBay one and that's a clear win for them right here final round for the final round we have comfort now there's three ways you can use these things standing sitting or lying Standing and sitting, we have the same angle. And using the eBay mobile controller, the phone tends to want to tilt away from you, which over time will cause some amount of fatigue and it's not as comfortable using it while standing or sitting. On the flip side, using the Power A, because we can set the angle to whatever we want it to be, we can have the, the phone hovering over the controller, which causes it to be more balanced and you almost don't feel the weight of the phone while you're using it standing or sitting. When you're lying down, it tends to have this angle which causes the phone to be over the controller on the eBay gaming phone clip. So I think the angle that they have set here is made for lying and it's kind of inconvenient when you're standing or sitting but it's perfect for lying. So if you're mostly lying in bed playing this thing, using the eBay gaming phone clip, you won't have any problems with this angle. And for the Power A, again, because we can set it to whichever angle we want it to, this thing pretty much works because we can set it to any angle that we choose. It turns out to be the most comfortable of the both of them in any scenario that you want to use it. When you're using this, these things you want the phone to always be balanced over the controller and for this one it's either too far back or just right so in terms of comfort the power a is a definite win again so now let's move on to our final conclusions it's time for the final conclusions and we have a clear winner i'm not even gonna beat around the bush the moga gaming controller 
with all the features, the articulating arms, the better phone mechanism, the not blocking the connect button. I don't think the price difference would justify losing all of these features. You're literally only saving like maybe $7 depending on where you get this thing from. But if the price is a big enough deal that you need to save that $7, I mean, this one still works fine. Just remember all of the negatives that we talked about. The blocking, the, con the connect button. The phone mechanism is solid. You just have to have your phone slightly off balance, depending on where your volume and your power buttons fall. And having just one angle is the biggest problem for this thing. But it works fine if, you, if you're lying in bed all the time. At the end of the day, the decision is yours, guys. I'm just giving you the information.